lifestyle what's going on please i don't want to cuss me i know it's two weeks out of our episode but right now you know it got ready to work turn over and I tell you, I'm going to try to get some other stuff and I took a little break. But anyways, no fear, another vlog is here. So, you're probably wondering what I'm up to today. Well, you know, anytime we take a break, we have to hit it back with a bang. You know what I mean? So, today's episode, I'll be doing two cars that are very unique to the tuna scene here in Jamaica. We have a 2018 AMG GT and we have a 2018 BMW M5. The only all-wheel drive version in jamaica and perhaps the only one in the caribbean so i'll be getting into it today and you don't know it already farms with their figure and the footage so let's go it's going class style so yo before we get into the program i literally just got my steering wheel and you're probably wondering where i ship some of my items through well guess what i'm going to let you in on a little secret my ship club ja is giving an offer to you the skunkers that if you use this unique code skunk in front of your TRN you will get your first package free today once it's under five pounds though so I'm gonna leave all the details here website Instagram or telephone number to contact them to get more details peeps head on over to my ship club JA trust me them are on the place right now and you get some good rates you see me mad Boss himself. Yo, yo. Man upgrade, I know. Yes, I'm a general. Yes, bro. Finally. Yeah, you can't, you know, them you can't just gesture, you know, brother. Oh, I'm just sorry. I never, I, I, I never, yeah. <laughs> hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Do that again. Yes. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, my brother. Well, I give blessings, you know. I give thanks for the blessings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember in the last interview we did with you. Yeah. You wanted one of these machines. Ah, uh, my, my dream is always, I was always to have an M5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to tell you is after that interview, it come in like what you speak, it, speaking to being. You ever yeah. hear about them talk there? Yeah, man. Universe yeah. answer. Yeah, for real. You get try me? and see better. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let me try my seat better. Right yeah, man. Yeah, I want to tell you after, after. Our last the committee and you know the spirited run that we had. One of my clients actually called me. Yeah. And um, he saw the the video, the, the vlog. Are you serious? Yes. And after he saw the vlog, he said, I never knew that um, you owned uh, that M3. And right. I said, yeah, man. And so anyway, would you would you sell it? So I said, boy, if I sell it, it's only one week. I don't know what I would buy. Right. So as a universal habit, out by the truck. <laughs> yeah. Um, the same track? I met, oh, by the same truck, I met a friend and he said that um, the owner of the only right hand drive M3 in Jamaica, M5 in Jamaica. And yeah. probably the Caribbean. And the Caribbean is what I learned after. They, are, they may be selling the car. So he gave me the contact, I talked to the, to the, to the past owner and the rest is history. Yeah, Sold my car and attained this car, you know. I love this car bro. Yeah man, it's... It's a, it's a really, really nice it's machine. It's a beauty. Yeah, man, it is. All right, so you know what people gonna commonly ask is, what's the driving style compared to the M3? Power, handling. Yeah, well, you know, the M5 is a platform that is the ultimate super saloon. BMW came out of the segment, and there is really nothing like it, you know? Um, in terms of the, the size, the weight, and what it can do. Um, it's different than the M3 in that it's the 5 series is more the luxury segment right um, but it is very very capable you know this particular version is four wheel drive so the handling is a lot better right um, but yeah I mean it's it's um, a lot more livable as well as right. you can see we're a lot more comfortable than we were the last time man. yeah it's a lot heavier too yeah. so of course, you know, I had to try and lose some weight to balance it back out. Well, congratulations <laughs> on that, sir. Yeah, respect, I'll show, respect, I'll show, respect. I'll show so them the, car, the car gain weight, so I have to lose weight, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them before and after that. I'm very proud of ah, you as a yeah, matter Respect, fact. respect, respect, you know? Again, you helped inspire that, so. Yeah, no, so foundation, you know, know say, yeah, I'll be your positivity, you know? It's a lifestyle. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you positive know? lifestyle. I'm really happy that you could um, step up to this model though. Yes, yes. Because it was very opportune. Yeah. yeah. Um, Alright, so for the viewers now, I want you to give them like a quick breakdown of the difference between how you're liking the rear wheel drive to the all wheel drive. Well, guess what? Um, <laughs> with this platform, is, is, it doesn't have to be either or. Right. Yeah. Um, 
I've, I've never driven it in two wheel drive yet because you know it's still kind of fresh. I just, I just basically getting used to the car. Yeah. But the four wheel drive platform, I've had four wheel drives before, um, in terms of you know Evos. Yeah. So um, it's it's a lot more forgiving. You know, and um, it's a lot more responsive. Right. You know, through the cornering, acceleration, launches, um, the, the vehicles feel a lot more sure footed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you don't know Jamaica, we have a few nice roads. Yeah. Um, so, depending on the surface, four wheel drive is always the way to go. Which we're going to be taking some pulls on yeah. some nice roads today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you were previous you had Evos in the past. Yeah. So you know the raw power of Evo. Yes. Versus compared to what this would be maybe like a more a smoother power. Yes. But what you would say what you'd say are the pros and the cons to having this versus a Evo? Well, instantly I can tell you with the Evos and any Subaru Evo enthusiast will tell you with the modifications you normally change the turbos. Mm -hmm. There's normally lag. Right. So you have to kind of wait to get to that sweet spot where you're getting the most of the power your torque. Yeah. With these platforms, general. Sweet spot is there. It's, uh, <laughs> from 1800 RPM all the way, it just pulls, 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 pulls. And I mean, you're talking about over 600 horsepower, over 600 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. You know, BMW states uh, 557 and I think 600, but uh, BMW is known to kind of, you know, understate yeah. <laughs> the power so it's it's there but um you know the, the main difference is, is it's the nuances of the smaller cars right they, this this addresses it you know you're, you're a lot more comfortable especially at speed definitely you know you don't feel like the breeze is gonna blow you away no man may i tell you, you know, right so now just a little just a little pressure you give right now may i tell you you can feel the comfort and the, the stability on the road yeah any plans to do any mods to it? Well, I'm just enjoying it for now, you know, and getting used to it. Um, Wash it. But, you know, you don't know when we, we might eat a little tweak up. Yeah. In the future. <laughs> In the when future. You get, when you get used to it. Yeah, right? when I get, when I get, you know, I still enjoy the platform. And to be honest with you, the vehicle comes with quite a bit of power stock. So, mm -hmm. I haven't yet seen the need you know, to, to, you know, do any modification. Oh, the machine's sweet, bro. <laughs> machine mad. Let's get a little vibe and pull it. That's not sufficient, you know, that's everyday driving. Eh? Even, yeah, even, even. Hold on, you know, give it that, that, remember, you know, no, the M3, the M1 you give it the M2, M1 and you know? the M2. No, this is just regular. Alright, so we just actually stopped to get some gas, so you don't know how that guy already. Just give you guys a quick walk around of the exterior. You know, if you haven't really seen one of these in person, this is the 2018 M5, and like I said, it's the only one in the island. All wheel drive capabilities, so I'm talking about the 0 to 60 launch, is crazy in a machine like this. And guess what, guys? I actually brought the Draggy today, so. We'll be getting some pulls with the draggy. You excited about that? I brought, I brought the draggy, you know. Wow, well, yeah, man. Then what's going on, man? You can see the zero to sixty. Yeah, hundred to two hundred. Yeah, 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 man. So, one man thing. You can see the BMW light, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these cars, most of the M, M series cars come fitted with the carbon fiber roof as well. Okay. So yeah, it's some, some beautiful car. Yeah. So I've done over here. Dan, how the M5 pulling? M5 look good man, it look good, it look good. Pulling sweet. When we get on the highway we'll see though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is Dan's machine, you guys will remember it from the previous lab. The E63S, but it's actually tuned with the Rent Rentec, right? Rentec. So this car is not normal, you're looking at about, probably about 600. 600 to the wheel. Yeah, 600 to the wheel, so this one, so. You well, guys we're remember. Gonna bring up the little brother today, so. Yeah. We're gonna bring up the little brother today we're to going run for the little brother right now. Yeah man, so we're actually on our way to pick up the AMG GT. The one I spoke here about earlier. So, so quick look at the interior, but this car's running sweet as well from trust me.
actually just got this one well you guys saw who picked it up and i didn't get a chance to talk about it so give us a quick rundown on it shortly so i just stopped out here just to get a couple of shots and stuff like that but a nice car very very fast i can tell you that and this car comes at about 400 how much 465 469 so, 469. so basically 465. Yeah, it's about 500 so let me just get some cinematics of it definitely moves through the corners a little quicker you're sitting further back on the rear axle so you feel the input yeah it's more of a mid-size engine feel it's very different feel a little bit sportier ride stiffer yeah it's a, it's a, it's a nice car i like it yeah it's nice uh, it's probably, I mean, the good though, just me. yeah it's, it's definitely a fast car yeah and this is a level right below the gt r right you have a gt GTS and then GTR. Okay, GTS. This is 469 horsepower. The GTR, GTS is 515, and then the GTR 575. Okay. But this is a, this is definitely a decent car. We're going to have to pull along today. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I 
gonna get no sauce yet. No. But put some in it, You don't get no sugar. You don't have no sugar. You don't get no sugar in it. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna love this car. Them say 11.2, 11.1 Oh, it's not far off no. and we're going uphill right, so Yeah, we're going uphill, yeah, two people in their cars so. Right As you're right, you see um, So yeah, I think it's a 11.1, 11.1 car competition I think it's a 11 flat The CS, I think it's like a, you know, 10, 9, like 100 of a second and a quarter Yeah Man. But the horsepower bumps aren't big enough, like 600, 617, not, not a big, not a big move No but the weight, I think, is a big difference. I know the CS is significantly lighter. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, but I must say, the first time on the highway with this car, You're I'm impressed. really impressed with the handling. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm very impressed. With you don't have much body roll. No, man. it's very comfortable, very Not compliant touchy. going over these. Is it? Mm -hmm. You hardly feel in them. Yeah. You're not skipping, hot skipping, and jumping. You know. Or through the corner with the you know, four wheel drive. It's when you ask for the power on the corner, we can. Yeah, man, it's there. You know, she responds and it's planted. Mm -hmm. You know, we're good to have a G meet off the same. You know. And then the brakes, too. Yeah, man, the brakes are good. Very capable car. Supercar killer. <laughs> Let them call it, you know. Supercar killer. Yeah, I see them set up all the time. I mean, I am I, I, I am curious. We're just gonna go around mm -hmm. and then go back right there. Yeah, and stop. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm curious get, that. You don't want to on stop it. on getting on to drink or not? You um, yeah. We could I go right at the yeah, yeah. We could go right at the gas yeah. station right there. Yeah. Hey Dan, what's up? Hey, what's happening, man? What's going on, bro? <laughs> yeah, man. Respect. All right, so you know we just stopped out here in um, Richmond, so at same time. I want you guys to just give me. Well, I want you to give me a quick breakdown of what this car is and what it's all about. Sure, so this is the AMG GT. As you know, you actually have four levels, the GT, GTS, the GTC, and then the GTR. So this is the base model, but it's very decent. 469 horsepower, 465 foot-pound torque, light car, great transmission. Uh, the engine is mounted behind the first axle, so it feels like a mid-engine car. Right. It, it's a great handling car compared to my bigger E63. This is it's, it's a lot sportier, moves around. A little bit more nimble yeah does not have a speed limiter which the e63 and the m5 have so right. when we're on the track and in safe places this will run right up to 185 miles per hour yeah plus e63 and the m5 stop at 165 miles per hour so it's, it's a fun car great car how about how much of these cars are in the island i only know of four this black gt a white gt by mark right a gray gts by donovan and of course Duncan's GTR. Tom, you want to give us a quick walk around? So a while ago on the highway, you said that this, this spoiler actually adjusts to suit the downforce, right? Yeah, yeah. So it comes up at speed over 50 miles per hour, if my memory serves me right. And then when you're braking hard, it also comes up to act as an air brake. So it's an active spoiler, basically. What about the braking? Braking's great. Car has AMG brakes. You know, pretty much the same brakes that are on my E63, so big right. brakes, you know? It's the 4 liter V8 twin turbo motor. Yeah. So it's the same motor that's in all four variants. They just tune them differently. So right. this could be tuned a bit more. I, I'm sure the GTR has stronger components, of course. But it's it's a great motor, you know. And it's so the power pull with the E63 versus this. Uh, you know, to be honest, I, I I I I think they're about even in zero to sixty. They get up about the same way. Yeah. The E63 has much more torque though, so we'll we'll probably stretch it on the quarter mile right but in the um you know jamaican context because this isn't limited this will run past it in the one mile run. okay yeah so what we'll do is we're gonna hook the drag it up to it shortly and then we can get some pulls in it sure and we can pop the bonnet if you guys want to see how yeah. the, the engine sits behind the front axle oh, that, and that, okay sure go that ahead. gives it a sort of this is the four liter v8 i think since around about 2017 mercedes moved away from the older 5.5 liter V8, that's in my E63 for the 4 liter V8. Yeah. Makes great torque. Yeah. About 469, you said? 469 horsepower, 465 torque, and as you can see, the engine is really 
Okay, the engine, like you said, is behind the front behind axle. Behind the front axle, so it's like 47, 43. Yeah. Back to front weight ratio. And you're seated pretty much over the rear axle, so you really feel the input from yeah. the back when you're driving. It, it takes a little getting used to it, but it's a great car. So, I mean, with, with these cars being um, so powerful, right? How do you find the how do you find the the handling in terms of the rear end? No, it's a it's a, a very well balanced car. You know, the, the only reason you know for me to go from an E63 to this car is because this handles the corners, the sweeping corners a lot better. Yeah. Much lower. It's a broader car. If you look at the you know it's a really broad car. Yeah, it's a broad car, definitely. Yeah, this is Mercedes response to the 911, and I have to tell you, it does a good job relative to the 911. Oh, you said it's the Mercedes it's response. It's Mercedes response to the 911. They, they built the GT to basically go after the 911. I think they've done a great job. There's no doubt that the 911 has phenomenal heritage, but yeah. this little GT is a very, very fast car, very comfortable car. You are driven in Duncan's GTR, yep. and you're <laughs> driving this now. Yep, yep. What's the, what's the comparison? I mean, there's no doubt the GTR just makes much more power at 570 horsepower. But I've driven a Turbo S. I have driven the GT3. This is very comparable to a GT3 or a GTS. Very, very comparable in the 911 series. Very Speaking comparable. of Turbo S, you know, you, you know, we need to get that on the vlog. Yeah, we're gonna get the Turbo S. We're gonna get the GT3. No problem. Yeah, no problem. All right, Dan. Thanks. All right, guys. Yeah, man. So right. we're gonna get some pulls in this shortly. Um, we're going to get the draggy pulls to see what it is doing 0 to 60 and, and the quarter mile just our uh, estimation and as you can see the interior here you don't know how it go farms we're out there doing what we need to do yeah Dan so you ready for us to get that pull with the draggy now yes absolutely let's try it now all right cool let's go 